flows. Anger is a shadow. Anger is a shadow. You cannot be victorious by fighting with a shadow. Greed is also a shadow. None of these are realities. The reality is that which will remain even when awareness had happened. And this is a miracle. Those who have known awareness have not known anything of anger or greed. It is not that they drop them, they simply do not find them. Once the light is there, darkness cannot exist. Awareness is like light. The moment light comes in, darkness vanishes. Buddha is reported to have said when he became enlightened, the first moment of it, he smiled and said, this is unbelievable. So I have been enlightened from the very beginning. And all those chains and all those imprisonments were just dreams. Such is the situation with each one who is enlightened. Something that he or she always considered impossible to get rid of has not only slipped, rather a realization dawned that whatever he considered problem did not exist really. It was existing as a shadow. When people would ask him what should we do not to get angry, or what we should do not to be greedy, or, we, or what we should do not to be so much obsessed with sex or food, his answer was always the same, be aware. Bring awareness to your life. Awareness is the light. You want to clean the room, bring light into it. You want to find something, bring light into it. You want to rearrange a room, bring the light. Or whatsoever is needed, you bring the light first. Awareness is the light. The solution for everything is awareness. The moment you are aware, you will eat wisely. Everything that is there will be guided by an awareness. Earlier, you was eating unconsciously, dressing, doing this, that, all unconsciously, as if grouping in darkness, searching for something. But the moment awareness dawns, the whole life, everything in life is transformed. Your eating, your gestures, your way of living, sex, food, your understanding about all these things changes completely. Anand, his disciple Anand, listening again and again to every kind of person, different problems, but the prescription for, of the physician remains the same, Be, became this made Anand get puzzled. He said, what is the matter? What is the matter with you? 
they bring different kinds of illnesses somebody brings greed next one brings sex and somebody food or something else but your prescription remedy remains the same and buddha said their illnesses are different just as people can dream different dreams here you are if all of you fall asleep each will have a different dream two persons sleeping together hugging one another cannot have the same dream remember you cannot invite anybody to share your dream each dream is very private two persons husband and wife lying together on the bed hugging one another cannot have the same dream so private not even your wife or your husband can share it so as many people are there will be the same number of dreams everyone is dreaming so as many people are there there will be the same number of dreams but if you come to me if each one of them come to me and ask how to get rid of this dream what is the medicine you say how to avoid dreams the medicine will remain the same wake up dream will disappear whether you ask your spouse ask your children ask your neighbor ask whosoever asks wake up it is not going to be different the prescription is going to be the same you can call it awareness you can call it witnessing you can call it remembering you can call it meditation these are the different names of the same medicine medicine remains the same act with more awareness the only problem with man is that he is fast asleep when he is asleep he is asleep and when he is waking he is still dreaming even sleeping with open eyes now during the day when he is awake he is sleeping with open eyes that is why you are not even aware that you are aware your eyes are open and you are dreaming a thousand and one dreams a thousand and one desires you are not here now indeed this is the meaning of being aware aware means being here and now in this moment you are either in the past in the memories that is a dream or you are in future in a state of imagination that too is dream memories are dream imagination a dream memories are dream with closed eyes imagination is dreaming with open eyes be now here if the past is there you are not aware if the future is there again you are not aware awareness means present in the present just be here this moment even if 
a single thought passes inside you you are not aware to be in thought to be in the thought process is to be asleep not to be in thought is not to be in thought leads to awareness not to be in any thought process is to be awake the moment you are awake there is no thought process continuing as undercurrent and when the thought process is continuing this is deep sleep so awareness is the master key the solution for anything anyone can be anyone who is dreaming for him the solution is wake up from deep slumber and waking up from deep slumber is awareness enough from now